All right, so I woke up this morning to uh, this uh, interesting article from Electric, um, and uh, basically it says that in Canada, the sales, the car sales, 8% of them uh, are all electric cars. Now, when we say electric cars, when it comes to sales, we really mean like all electric, uh, uh, plug-in hybrids, and I think hydrogen fuel cell, right? So they're just as a context. But then I was like, oh, I know like they've only had a few thousand of Model 3s imported there um, and it doesn't really add up to me. And I mean, we're talking about this is like Norway type of numbers from like last year. Norway is like beyond 50 percent at this point. But so I decided to dive in and I found interesting things and I'm going to share it with you right now. Welcome to those of you who are watching me live on Patreon. And if this is your first time here watching me on YouTube, welcome. Just go ahead and click on that subscribe button down there so you don't miss anything moving forward. And it's free, by the way. Okay, so um, granted that with a Model 3 uh, coming out, uh, you know, and selling over 100,000 at this point, it is definitely contributing to overall global sales, right? Um, there's about 17 million cars and trucks together, SUVs and stuff being sold. Um, around the world so you know adding a hundred thousand sales does 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 move the needle just a little bit but overall the electric car sales have been between one and two percent and it hasn't really progressed that much in the last five years um you know again i know this this model three has definitely been a, a a big big deal as i think people expected it including myself that it really is gonna you know start the mass production of electric cars just around the industry okay now let's dive into this article because this article uh, was talking about you know they're they're heavily relying on the fleet um report okay and so when i dived in into the report i mean in in I looked at it and it's kind of it's pretty interesting so if you look like I'll blow it up in the uh, full screen as you can see model 3 uh, third quarter about 2000 uh, very close you know to it is Nissan Leaf um, and then Chevy Bolt and Model X and so forth so interesting that you know I, I just I thought there were more model 3s were exported into Canada but I guess not um, now the second chart is about the plug-in hybrids right uh, once again we're, we're seeing uh, yeah I was a little surprised Mitsubishi Outlander I was like oh I forgot it didn't even exist almost as many as model 3s and uh, you know Toyota Prius and uh, and so forth right so like for example you know Toyota Prius and BMW X5 and others like you know they go only like a few miles on the actual battery so you know so when we say like electric car it's the lines are sometimes kind of blurry right so um and then i'm wondering okay all right well you know I, this this numbers look interesting uh but at the same time i'm thinking like okay this is still nodding up no not just not adding up and i'm starting to dive into the article a little bit more here's what i find um and before I tell you uh, what it is, of course, I want to mention that this show and this channel is sponsored by Evanex, the aftermarket accessories. Oh, I'm sorry. It's not Evanex today. It's Climate Exchange. I'm just on autopilot. I am on autopilot and my autopilot software has not been updated. No, no. Today it's a Climate Exchange, though Evanex is still a sponsor, but... Uh, Climate Exchange, they're a nonprofit organization, uh, actually, and they're running a raffle. Only a few weeks left, uh, and this is for US only, unfortunately, but uh, they're raffling off three Teslas, and they are only selling 4,000 tickets. So your chances of winning are pretty damn good. Uh, and it is $250. There is a, 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 you know, and I think it's US only, unfortunately. Sorry, guys. Um, there's, a, there's a link to it in the description of this video. Good luck. And even if you don't win, guys, this is still, you're going to be, doing a good, do, good deed by supporting a nonprofit organization that's moving us forward to a low carbon econo economy so thank you to uh climate exchange all right blah, 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 blah. i need to really like wake up uh, um, so i'm kind of still asleep all right climate exchange so let me okay so here's a quote from a fleet karma as i'm reading this article and here's what they're saying in general passenger cars have become a smaller fraction of vehicle sales due to increase in suvs pickup trucks and minivans and this quote tells me that this is not all cars and they keep messaging me, they keep messaging is passenger cars passenger cars and i i know you would know that by by the actual um title on uh, the electric right you would just say you know all uh, new car sales but apparently it is not it is passenger car sales and the passenger car sales apparently does not uh involve suvs and pickup trucks and minivans and as we all know 
Those are like major sales that this quote says. So I'm assuming, okay, now they don't have the data overall because I was like, I can do my own math, right? I did not find the data to tell me what overall sales the uh, the electric cars are. And, and by the way, let me go back to this chart. As you noticed, this chart has a uh, Model X here, right? And then for the second one, this chart for, chart for the plug-in hybrids, it has uh, X5, right? XC90. Uh, those those are um, those are SUVs. So is this study including SUVs in the number of electric cars, but not including them in the overall car sales when they're dividing? It just sounds like this is just completely wrong, and this eight percent, I think actually it's eight point three, doesn't really matter much. And you know. Here's my problem with this, right? And again, I'm, I, this, I've read this article like three times, so this is all I gotta go. So maybe there's some information that they haven't communicated or communicated poorly, or maybe I'm still asleep, who knows? But I just do not see how this adds up, and I think this is the type of stuff that is a disservice to um, to our industry, well, I turn probably to journalism as well, but you know, especially to the industry, right? We are not, and I keep saying this, we are not growing that much. You know, yes, Model 3 is definitely going to make a, a difference, and I hope this is the beginning of a revolution. But before this, I mean, and still until now, I, you know, I we are not growing as much. It's we need a, we need infrastructure. We need you know a better incentives in some cases. Any incentives? We need uh, we need you know cheaper cars. We need companies to be behind their sales of their cars. We need some ads on TV. And by the way, one thing that I will say that is, is impressive is that don't forget in Ontario, they cut all of the incentives out, I think September 10th, right? They, because they had a, uh, a new guy come in. Uh, I think it was a conservative party. So he just completely cut it, cut it all out. Um, and it looks like the sales were still fine. But the, it, this is, by the way, this is based on Q3. We'll see what happens in Q4 because we don't know if there was a rush to buy electric cars before it was axed or, or and so we'll see, Q4 will probably be going to be better results, but on the other hand, I'm not even sure if that's going to uh, be a good indication in Canada because I'm going to assume that Tesla is going to try to sell as many Model 3s in the United States by the end of the year because we're going to have the tax rebate, tax, um, the tax uh, incentive uh, cut in half starting January 1st. So these numbers are still kind of like not 100% reality because of the Ontario thing. Uh, and I think Q4 is going to be a little bit, but I will definitely keep my eye on it because this is very important, right? Uh, let's see if other countries are adopting uh, electric cars better than, let's say, us here in the United States. And then we can at least figure out what works and what doesn't, right? When we have a contrast, it's definitely very interesting. Now, Norway beyond 50 percent and that's really cool and as you guys know i keep you guys updated they're still keeping it over 50 percent um and it is it is a phenomenon it is a phenomenon though, but they are subsidizing it uh, very heavily i have another video that talks about you know how much governments have contributed not just tesla to this whole movement um and so you can watch that in my library but by the way let me give a quick shout out to my uh new patreon uh georgi Neveri. uh thank you for becoming a patreon a welcome and of course those of you guys who are already patreons get to watch my videos first simply because they watch me live i mean this is live on patreon right now so you can't get better access faster access to my videos uh than that and a bunch of other perks you can just go to patreon.com slash e for electric and uh, see if you would like to contribute to the show i am now full time with this as you can see i'm making more videos so i really really thank you guys for your contributions and by the way i do go live on youtube once a week now it's on sunday it's a subscriber hangout it was a lot of fun last time so um, it's already scheduled on the home page of my channel you can set a reminder or just show up uh, it's going to be on sunday last time we went for a couple of hours so it was a lot of fun so definitely one more reason for you guys to uh, subscribe to this channel and um, and click that uh, bell notification button down there so um all right that's pretty much it looking forward to your comments uh and i will see you next time and remember to stay charged